I have questions. <laughs> okay, granted, you may also have questions now that you've seen this. <laughs> Thank you for clicking on this video. It's true, I have questions. <laughs> I do understand when you look at this that you're probably going, no, wait, I have questions. Well, we all have questions. Let me explain. This is a handy dandy champagne cooler, of course. Everything is repurposed for orchids. This is a fantastic lid to a little saucepan, just temporarily repurposed for orchids. Then we have a mount. Yes, now you're thinking, oh, tannin, pH, ppm, I don't know what. No, no, none of that. I am soaking them out because I really do have a question. I had to have it submerged. It is cork. It would have been too buoyant, so I had to weigh it down with my lid. <laughs> but okay, in all seriousness, these mounts, while they were curing on the table, on the patio, when it started to rain, let's say maybe four weeks ago, we had a couple of rainy days and nights. I took them indoors, placed them on the shelves indoors in my grow space so that they stay dry. During that time, this is the only mount where I thought, what's going on? There was like sediment at the bottom underneath the mount on the floor. And I thought, huh, what is going on? Now I have questions. Can you help me? What animal did this? Can you see the perfection of this hole? And it's going in deep. That's why the water, the cooler, and submerging with my handy dandy saucepan lid. But look at that workmanship. That is not me. And I'm a very, very concerned because, you know, I'm not afraid of bugs or anything. But I'm concerned that something's going to come out and jump at me. So I've been, the past 24 hours, always looked at the container, wondering if something had sunk to the bottom because I've kept this submerged, hole covered, etc. Even <laughs> before I submerged it, <laughs> I put it under the faucet and I was ready to freak out if something started crawling out of there. So I'm still suspicious. Yes, I am. That's why I keep looking. <laughs> of course, there's bubbles coming out now because I removed it and it has a little hole where it comes out. It kind of drains somewhere on the side here. But I kind of wanted to use this mount, but not before asking you. Isn't that insane? Anyway, so I hoovered, cleaned everything off the bottom of this mount. Of course, I took all the other mounts, checked them over. No sign of the same thing happening. And I put them far away from this mount because I didn't want anything coming in and grazing, destroying my mounts. Not saying this mount isn't usable, but it's sus <laughs> now. It's really sus. So no other mounts have any sign of this. And I left this mount where it was. And then for a couple of weeks, nothing had added to the debris. The floor was clean. Until two days ago, there is all that debris, all the shavings on the floor again. And I thought, no, now I'm going to post a video. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to see if you can help me. And of course, is it going to come back? <laughs> can I mount an orchid on this? Whatever it is. I mean, I'm fascinated at how precise this is. This tunneling is a work of art. So it's been, it's gone for a long, long time and then it came back. What is going on? Your help would be appreciated. <laughs> Give this video a like because my heart is in my throat. I am prepared to screech at any moment like right now and I haven't screeched so please like the video and uh, yeah I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel as well. Woo! This looks like an owl. Woo! 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 Doesn't it? From the side it's a bionic owl. It's got all that there with the <laughs> it's a bionic owl oh my goodness anyway yes after i just asked you to subscribe uh, this is how we do it on the patio sometimes we go a little bit cuckoos speaking of cuckoos hoo -hoo. <laughs> your tips your help your suggestions would be appreciated me and my owl mount 
thank you for anything that you might be able to add to this, for me, bizarre, bizarre apparition. <laughs> Have yourself a fantastic day. On that one condition though, please that you stay safe. And yeah, I'm planning to stay safe because uh, we're not done yet. Until I don't hear from you, this is soaking. <laughs> it's going to stay submerged. And yeah, the hole is not under the water line. So we're gonna have to be a little bit more insistent. Now, every time I look at that, I feel like, yes, there is an owl staring back at me. Oh my goodness. Not that I, mm. it worked so well before. Blooper time, blooper time. Let's see if we can't just repeat what we did for the, <laughs> just one moment. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. It just add some water. And I don't mind the tannin. That is such little tannin coming out after 24 hours. That is perfect. Orchids don't mind. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>